Hi, my name is Arthur Piccolo. I recently sent out a letter, an open letter to the Greek community in support of two flagpoles flying the American and the Greek flag in front of the new St. Nicholas and the name St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine to be placed clearly visible above the entrance to the new St. Nicholas. In response to my letter being printed in the National Herald, two individuals representing a group called the Friends of St. Nicholas, Dennis Mahil, the chairman, and Michael Saros, co-chairman, wrote a blistering reply attacking me for proposing both. They want the new St. Nicholas to have no external signs that it is St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine, and certainly no flagpoles. They want it to be an anonymous white structure in the exterior, which is the wish of Governor Andrew Cuomo for political reasons. I'm using this second video of mine to respond to them. I will print here their entire letter, and I'm going to read to you my response to each of the paragraphs in their letter sent to the editor of the National Herald. Look closely at what these two individuals want, these close Cuomo allies. They want, with Governor Cuomo wants, a white building completely neutral with no identifying marks at all on the outside. Not a hint on the outside that is is St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine. Why should Greek Americans and Greeks everywhere let Cuomo and his two political allies get away with this outrage. This is the letter in its entirety written by these two guys and sent to the National Herald in response to my open letter to the Greek community in support of Greek identity at the new St. Nicholas. This is their letter opposing Greek identity at the new St. Nicholas by attacking me. Their letter was also recently printed in the National Herald. I respond point by point in the remainder of this video. Paragraph number one. Gentlemen, since when is supporting Greek American identity a diatribe? Only in your minds. As for your cynical view of my long association with the Greek American community, all you do is identify your purposeful ignorance. My association is very, very real for over 25 continuous years, as I am sure you have been informed. But if you need more, watch this recent video from the 200th anniversary of Greek independence celebrated here at Bowling Green. Paragraph 2. It was St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church that was destroyed, not any other house of worship. It was a Greek institution and building that was destroyed on 9-11-2001 at the World Trade Center. All you are doing with your position on these issues and with your statement to me is trying to deny the Greek identity of St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church to turn it into a non-Greek building strip of its Greek identity.
Once again, your fabricated ignorance about flying flags outside St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church. You either never visited St. Nicholas Church on Cedar Street, or you are just lying. St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church did indeed fly both the Greek and American flags outside its entrance, and even more reason why both flags must fly outside the new St. Nicholas as well. The only reason not to do so is to remove the Greek identity from the new church, which is obviously yours and Andrew Cuomo's goal. Above you write, St. Nicholas, quote, bears witness to freedom of faith and conscience, and the mutual respect that all people of good will have for one another. Unquote. How does that require denying the Greek identity of St. Nicholas? Are you arguing there are some who will not enter because it is a Greek church? Why would you pander to such bigots? If, as you write above, quote, St. Nicholas will become the quintessential Greek Orthodox Church of America, unquote, how is it, how is that accomplished by stripping its Greek identity from its exterior? Not only do you not want flags outside, neither do you want the name St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine on the exterior of the building. If you have your way, all it will be is a white building that anyone looking at it will have no idea what it is and not at all that it is St. Nicholas, Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine. You're right, I have an ax to grind. Really? Is that what you call supporting Greek and Greek American identity? We know who has an ax to grind, both of you. As I identified earlier, you are both major political allies of Cuomo and the Democratic Party. You, Mr. Mahil, and your wife may be the single largest contributors to Cuomo's campaigns the last 10 years, and you have been richly rewarded, as we both know. All you are doing is Cuomo's bidding in opposing the two flag poles and not placing the name St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine on the exterior of the new church. Here above, more insult from two billionaires. You wrote, quote, if he really does have any friends in the Greek American community, unquote, more purposeful ignorance on your part. You know well I have many friends in the Greek American community. And you conclude with this nonsense, quote, for the governor and his predecessors since 9-11, the rebuilding of St. Nicholas has always been a matter of equity and fairness, something Mr. Piccolo clearly does not understand, end of quote. I do understand. Cuomo supported the federal and state government paying for the rebuilding of every other aspect of the World Trade Center except St. Nicholas, that the Greek community had to raise all the funds to do so. I do also understand every other aspect of the rebuilding of the World Trade Center is complete except for only St. Nicholas, which is not 20 years after September 11, 2001. I also understand that St. Nicholas owned the land at Cedar Street that included both the church and the parking lot that surrounded it, and New York State refused to redesign the World Trade Center so St. Nicholas could be rebuilt there. Instead, New York State seized that land for other purposes, then took years before providing another site, and the new site for St. Nicholas is not owned by the parish, but 
New York State now owns the land St. Nicholas is built on. Most of all, I understand Governor Cuomo wants to cancel as much of the Greek identity of St. Nicholas as he can get away with, because that is good for him politically, and both of you are working with him to do so. Shame on both of you. I will continue to fight for the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine pictured here, in which I have placed the two flag poles proudly flying the American and Greek flag, and which I have superimposed above the entrance, St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church and National Shrine, clearly and beautifully etched in gold leaf above the entrance. We must not allow Governor Andrew Cuomo and his allies like these two guys to perform cancel culture at the new St. Nicholas by denying, by stripping it of its Greek identity for their own political purposes, their own cynical political purposes. I hope, most of all, that a lot of Greek Americans and Greeks from around the world will demand the identity be established and always exist at the new St. Nicholas Church and National Shrine as it most assuredly should. We can win this battle if enough of us get involved, Greeks and non-Greeks.